Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Introduction to Juniper Lab Number One. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at Juno's basics. So, in the Introduction to Juniper Lab Number One, we are going to familiarize ourselves with the following items. I'm going to show you how to navigate through the different command line interface modes or the CLI modes. We are going to perform basic configuration within Junos. These configuration items include changing the system host name and also changing the system time. I'm also going to show you and explain the concept of the commit command along with the rollback command And also in this video, I will be teaching you some of the basic Juniper terminology and features that go along with those. So as we can see, we have a very simple network topology. We have the laptop that I am currently on, currently producing this video on, that is connected to the Juniper device, which is the SRX210. And this is a Juniper router that I have purchased. And so the SRX series is a firewall type of Juniper device and is used for small businesses and other areas for security purposes. And also, what I'm going to show you with this device is how to navigate through the Juniper command line interface, familiarize yourself with the Junos command structure. So let's go ahead and jump into the configuration. I have PuTTY, so I have a laptop that's connected into the Juniper SRX210 and this specific model is the 210H and I believe the H stands for high memory in this case the high memory we have one gig of memory so if it's a non-H SRX 210 I believe you have 500 or 512 mega RAM so the laptop the network interface card on the laptop is connected into the gig interface. There's two gig interfaces on this router. And also this SRX box is power over Ethernet as well. The only thing that this image shows that my SRX210 does not have here at home is the T1E1 card. So right now on my router this T1E1 card is covered up. There's just a plate over it whereas this one is populated this picture is populated I'm sorry the router in this picture is populated with the T1E1 card so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to lay a solid foundation in this lab to build for you guys to build off of especially if this is your first if this is your introduction video into Juniper we want to provide you with the basics of the Junos so that you have a foundation to learn and to build off of. So we're going to use PuTTY to get into the device. The device IP is 192.168.1.1 and we're going to SSH into it. So some of the features I already have set up on the SRX. Again the SRX210 is familiar I'm sorry, not familiar. It's similar to the ASA series that Cisco has. So the SRX, again, is a firewall. can also be used as a router. It runs all routing protocols. And I'm going to show you how to set up all those routing protocols later on in the more advanced Juniper Labs. So we're going to SSH to 192.168.1.1. That's the IP address assigned to our router, the SRX, and it's going to 
come up with a login prompt. We're going to log in as the root because that is our account that we have created on the Juniper device. And it's going to ask us for the password. So I'm going to put in the default password that we have or that I set up. And right away, if you're not familiar with Juniper devices, you can see that the Junos is the Juniper operating system, kind of like Cisco has the iOS, which is the Internet Working Operating System, the iOS, the version of the Junos that we're running is shown. And also I'll explain the Junos version uh, and a in a different video where I show you how to upgrade your Junos from one version to another. So right off the bat we see that we are prompted our command prompt shows the root at awesome. So again this awesome is the name of the router. I just put that in there.